players. So let's get on the way in towards the game, ladies and gents. So that's been things on towards a map number one. Before we do as well, we can talk about the Vita. Inferno as well will kickstart things. The pick of looking for Org. Ancients are map number two. The pick of big. And if we need it, Anubis is our decider once again for big. So let's see whether they can... Uh, one better this time. We start on towards Inferno. Let's see what things can be done here. Of course, I'm looking for Orgs pick. They'll start on the CT side. This is also certainly one of the maps that it feels like has uh, sort of changed the, the most, right? It, very, very, very visually for sure. But there are a few angles that you might be comfortable with on go that have really changed because it's a bit wider or a bit skinnier. So it is certainly... A difficult map, I think, to thrust yourself into. Maka in the apartments there finds that kill to open things up. Hadji's taken a fair amount of damage to kick off, but the man advantage for the Frenchman is certainly a position that they will not look to abuse. Oh, I like this from Maka as well. Looking to get a bit cheeky, right? Just continues to confirm the information, drawing more and more attention on towards this A-bomb site from that... CT sides, Exorcis Ooh. up on top on the balcony, a new fresh angle to deal with. I don't know that they really know what has just hit them there. I haven't seen that as yet, to be fair. And he comes away with a nasty three piece. Exorcis, lovely work from him. Really, really nice use of kind of a, like said, a new angle coming through that kind of railings position because it obviously used to just be a balcony. Now yeah, it's yeah, got a little yeah. bit of roof for you to stand up on. Hey utilizes it very very well i have a little one-two punch you've got kind of maca playing through into his apartments and continues to be quite aggressive and as he's falling back that would have been hers they try and chase him down but into danger they go so goes the way of looking for all that's what start for them no real buy for big to work with which actually is a good sign it means they're playing the uh the long-term game when it comes towards an economy just going to be eco here but a full buy in towards the next realistically though King Frog should find a relatively simple second. So damn quiet, though. My God. There is not a lot on the table right now. The big, just going for the old uh, attack pause, right? Attack pause. Into the fight, say, go. Jocko on a piece, man, so you're going to find a consolation. I don't think I'll ask for too much overall, but it's better than nothing. I told from Lucky here. Flank coming in from behind as well, so the day is numbered of the big boys. I think they kind of know that, and they do actually have the Deagle trained down the bottom end of Banana, but nothing quite coming off, just losing more and more and more space as the round goes on. Down goes Crimbo. Just onto Mantu, and he will quickly fall after the fact as well. So, looking for Og, looking pretty good. I kind of want to call them LFO, right? We've had a few LFOs yeah. in the past, right? But then they have a four, so it's like L4O, and that, yeah, that just doesn't yeah. ring as well. Also, one of those things, I mean, we've had this conversation before. I hate the name looking for Og. I know, you know it I mean? is a bit annoying. I, yeah. I actually... Like, look at all other teams that have been looking for an org, but what they've done with it. Bad News Bears, great example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really great kind of, uh, you know, dedication to a brand, which helped them get signed. Of course, there's a kind of a new look, Bad News Bears. Um, That's it. When you've already, like, the got moment. it there, bro. In the modern age of, like, social media and all that, when you've already got, like, a bit yeah. of a brand, I'm sure when you've proven that you're doing the legwork and you're not just five players and a coach, I'm sure people who have got money wanting to invest in esports will will look at that and be like, "That's a little better," you know. Like, you look, at, a look at the double like, pony days, man. Double pony. These guys bring were it back. Double pony and that's well. what I'm yeah. saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, bring it. And they were funny. They did funny tweets. Yeah, bring that guy their social back. media manager was was brilliant. Bring him back. You know, he would like. I, I remember when they played against Vitality, and he did like a. Uh, the horse like running away from bees and stuff it was great right you know just a little bit of a meme a little bit funny i think obviously i guess the main thing is that two out of the five are no longer with this yeah, this yeah, team yeah. anymore um obviously one of them was falcons out of body uh, i don't know whether that maybe he holds the right to double pony or something like that, that that's the only reason i was thinking yeah but, maybe uh, it is a bit of a gentleman's agreement at least so it just doesn't feel right 
if it was like Bonnie's five. idea or something. I don't know that mm -hmm. anyone will have the rights because they weren't like connected in org, but I know what you're saying. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like fundamentally, it was like, oh, well, I thought of this. Like if you guys use it, I kind of feel weird about it or whatever. But yeah, exactly. Either way, first kill's gone through. Sin finds Haji. Wrapping here on towards eight. Back are going to be tested. AUG scoped in, waiting for a pixel to work with. You might just get it in just a mere moment. Up around the edge of the smoke. Find a fight. Maka full blind. Going to find one and a half. But Sin makes it a double. Oh my goodness. A little bit weird out here. It's lucky, however, from library there, I believe. Yeah. Not yeah. really a library anymore, but he's going to find himself a double kill through the smoke. And there's just no time to get the bomb down because he drops that bomb with those frags. Ah, oh, disaster striking for big man. I like it a little bit. Again, creative and original. The A executes especially are going to change quite a bit, at least for a little while. Moto smoke, not quite as reliable, not quite as easy to pull off. Still being figured out, especially in the early days. Mm. So they went with something a bit different there. The long wrap coming in didn't work for them. As, uh, yeah, Lucky just had his lineups, man. Fair play. Absolutely. And well played. Rog. Not bad for him. Zero star. Orp shot. Maka misses. But good information gained at the very least. All right now you look over towards Big. And answers a little bit. Uh, a little janky. Head on towards the smoke. In towards top car. Lucky can continue to stick around. Really offering up. Double glil. Tech nine. For Big. What a brilliant bite. On the M4 and the Krieg. Process looked really good with the Krieg, however. In towards... That series prior, despite the result. I'm not even remotely committed just yet. They don't really need to, to be perfectly honest. But a very slow round here being played by Big. Kind of feels like... A little bit on edge. I don't really know where to go. Yeah, I think... Again, they're sort of nervous. They've had this energy all day long where they're just not... Fully confident with some of their moves. But again, although we look fresh, it is Inferno. And I would imagine they're going to approach it with a very similar, slow, drawn out T side in particular. Utility coming round. A weird sort of sight smoke there. I mean, not sure what the intention is behind it. Hadji, the first line of defense. Good for one. Lovely little setup here. It's lucky finding two on the edge of the smoke. Will be traded out eventually, but surely it's done enough damage here. Exorcist goes over. Look. Crimbo alone and Crimbo finished. <laughs> it's it's quick, it's clinical, and, and looking for Og looking pretty good right now on Inferno. I gotta say, Exorcist, I love him, the kind of kind of individual aggression from him. He's just so confident as a player. Always someone who I really liked on this team. Even the previous iterations. And there, uh, well, looking good so far. Four zero start. Big. They're scratching their head at just a tad. No real money to speak of. Struggling to get bomb plants right now for big. So Lost Bones might be building up, but they still can't invest around it. Pull back towards top B, expecting a rush here. Jocko is going to drop a Molotov as he invites on a little bit of pressure, but still nothing really offering up. Bomb not committed. Go past Banana slightly over towards this A position. And I think right now, with all this banana control taken, the only call big can make. Very slow once again as they look set to move towards A. Going to try and give it another go with the pistols, I would imagine. Get that familiarity of the bomb site lifted. difficult it's very very difficult here there's a lot of utility available but they continue to be uncomfortable with using it long smoke coming in a moto smoke as well flash is around the moto smoke is good and they've managed to make their way in towards pit but what do they do with this now as you can see the setup from looking for all is very very ready for this but two quick kills from sin might just have made the difference jocko trying to be the hero i don't think it'll quite be enough he leaves the orp alone Maka does get one round the corner, not expecting him so fast to. It is down to the one versus one quite quickly. The org is out. Tabson looking to take this fight. There's no kit available for Maka. There is one down on the site. If that information comes round, Tabson has crept away. 
and is in a pretty nice spot towards long. Maka has a lot of clearance to do and not a lot of time to do it with. This becomes a real challenge as soon as he makes noise. Down he will go. And big on the half by find their first round. Yeah, got to be said as well. A very important one for Big, considering things are starting to very quickly slip away. Yeah, I think this has been a big conversation uh, recently about, you know, you pick up a pistol, you break the economy once, and you can even walk, you know, kind of waltz your way to that kind of that five, six nil star and, and leave a team just clawing to get back in towards a game with very little hope. Take both pistols, and it actually feels like it might be done and dusted there and then. So, yeah. I think for big, that's very important. They just need to level the playing field ever so slightly. And that's a very important way of doing it. That's broken the economy. We're looking for org side too. Just pistols for them to work with. Full eco. So realistically big to find a second should be the case. Ooh, you'd think yeah. so. Mr. Hadji with a quick trade though. Oh, and the flash is good. Tabson doesn't know what he's looking at. All right, getting a little weird out here. Three versus three. Lucky on the recovered M4. Got the bomb, though, Neo. Oh, he's yeah. going for these fights. Not so sure. Given the swing back. <laughs> what is that? Hadji's just absolutely close lines in. Through the smoke. The spam looks close. But unable to pull it off. Man, too. If only he could see what we could see, man. He'd see how close he is. And he does get the tag. Now, Haji, I'd recommend maybe sticking away. Well, the thing is, he actually kind of can't play away from it. Uh, expectation of a flank, which isn't really being given up just yet. And you continue to take pop shots. He really can't even opt for a uh, direct of an AK, basically, because of how low an HP he is. He has to continue wielding the AWP. 25 seconds, time is ticking. Even if they find one kill as well, and it dips in towards kind of the 15 seconds or shy mark, I think maybe it might be the right call to fall away, but it doesn't matter. Hadji going to find two kills on the way out, but it's four kills overall. Just when you think Big's half by was all right. Looking for Org do on a full eco and maybe what, one P250 and just USBSs. Nicely done. What a way to respond. Just when you thought Big were going to find a bit of success, the left ruling. Mental. Absolutely mental well we'll see now big gonna obviously look to try and recover things but certainly easier said than done and i mean yeah they're just in such a difficult spot maka with the opener setting them in a very good position moving forwards now Two, nice shot. Hadji still posting towards the Overlooked here because he already killed one. Kind of expected. Can man to make another Molotov and make that much more difficult. Playing in the flames. Crimbo falls. Hadji looks for more, but he's traded. Decent. Pretty decent stuff. Still a man advantage. Just hanging in the balance. There is only the one player on the uh, A bomb side itself. Jocko with the presence in behind is certainly annoying. But unable to find a frag. Exercise in on this site, ready and waiting, but vulnerable from long, depending on what Maka sees, of course. Closer leading the charge here. I think that noise would have been heard as well. A bit deceiving how loud it can be. Exercise, lovely shot, repositions, look for more fights. I'm taking one versus three because man do the fight and he'll find the kill. He still has to get towards the site itself. Bomb on his back, but it's not exactly the easiest position to be in. Bomb does go down. It's decent. It is certainly decent. Man two is so unaware of what's going behind him. Has he not dead? <laughs> oh my goodness. That was a mess. That was a huge mess. To be honest, you can see Maka just sort of throws his gun away in disbelief at how wild that was. But all the same, looking for Og will come out on top of it. Finding themselves a pretty hefty lead now, in fact. It has to be said now. This is this is a really great position. It is. It is, honestly. Looking for Og looking just so solid. Very few errors creeping in towards uh, 
the French side right now, and I think for big. Do you need to continue to ask questions? They just look very shaky right now. It seems like the synergy on this team is kind of all over the place. They're going to call for a pause. Not a uh, kind of a bad decision, bring God B into the conversation, because they kind of just need somebody right now. They need something to work in their favor. I think we're really at the moment, there has been a little bit of a struggle for big, not in terms of just this map alone, but the, the previous series too. Consistency is something that's eluded them. We didn't really see what they were going to look like on Inferno, but we know about what Anubis is. But again, it isn't pretty. So even really go towards the side, you do get a little worried. Looking for Org right now, though. Looking. So damn solid. Already guaranteeing at the minimum a draw. By the way they're playing, a lead feels like it's more or less under lock and key. Early smoke there from Crimbo. Goes towards long. Yes. Yes, indeed. So there you go. Get him locked in. Maybe uh, Mr. Nut out here is hidden in the chat. <laughs> I know he's been pretty good on him recently, to be honest with you. Oh, this could be deadly. Naka is so ready for this fight. Get dicey. On a reclaim some space here. Now line it up. Paji for three. That'll be that. Maka gonna find his kill that we were waiting for. And if you process, you may as well just save. Yeah, man. This is really dire. Really, really dire. Of course, the previous game for big, very close. Couldn't quite get it over the line. Looking for Org. I would say are a much better team than the chosen few. No offense to the Bulgarian boys, but they've been together longer they they have some better individuals within the tier two space for my money Hadji's yeah, one of our best riflers mac has had potential behind him for years and years and years and it looks like they're much more comfortable on cs2 as well than than big for sure maybe not so much chosen few it's that's very subjective we've only seen a couple of games but definitely more so than big and again will be another team i think looking for all good cs2 came out probably from that point that um the limited test was bigger and more available that sort of said to us okay it's got to be coming out soon right and i think since then they've probably really been working on the cs2 keeping in on their csgo where they have to but i would imagine why not throw yourself at cs2 and try and get ahead of the curve in the early days yeah i think it's spot on right now we're looking very good they really are. Maka had to reposition. Misses that opportunity to find a nice little kill there. But okay, Ors does re peek in. It doesn't hit that one either. Showing how difficult the AWP can be to use in CS2. Big looking to try and go quick over towards Vidos. Flames are causing serious problems. Lucky. Gonna find the opening three. My oh my. It's just so easy for the French side right now. All too easy, you might argue, mate. All too easy. Oh, nice shot from Crimbo. Antu can't really uh, repeat the success. 8 to 1. Not looking good. Not looking good at all, dude. These rounds are coming all too easy. Like, it just is crazy so far. I think uh, a surprise. To say the least, it is indeed the pick of Looking Frog. It was a favorite map of theirs. Big less so i suppose right they've got the ancient coming up next maybe that flips things over but if this is the big that we're gonna see i don't think a lot of us have high hopes for them yeah 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 this is uh honestly you know like you were saying in towards that game prior at least it was you know it was pretty close more or less all the way through this is that's pretty rough around the edges right now Back up posted, miss shot. Hello, Process and Mantu combined for one apiece. And now the beats are looking a little, little bit vulnerable. Just about. Yeah, it's decent. Decent from big to kick things off. They absolutely need to convert this now. It's the big thing. So let's see what they've got in the back pocket. It's not a bad read from looking for org, but at the same time, big are not necessarily dedicating the bomb just yet it does seem to be making its way over slowly as this 
execute comes round. This is a bit of a scary setup. Still got Maka, and there's a boost as well that might be difficult to deal with. Flash comes round. Smoking on the corner. War Maka, very cheeky, bro, but I guess somebody's got to do something. The next man up to bat is Exorcise. Above the action. Oh, smoke is pretty nice there, actually. I think it's very difficult for him. Tries to follow as they fall down, but unfortunately no kills coming round. So that should be the round pretty easily for Big. I think it will be as Exorcy starts to make his way out of there. Yeah, you just call it. I can't understand there, especially with Haji making zero commitment to even be near that fight there. That'll be that. So Big, there is still, you know, a silver lining. There's still a bit of a saving grace overall. Generally speaking, a lot more needed. Before we get to the point of being, uh, I guess, comfortable with this performance on Big so far. Still is only, of course, their second round. The best they can do in this half is four. And even then, is that good enough? Realistically speaking, no. And I'm on a kind of a game which generally at the moment feels a little bit T-sided just because of Peaky's advantage. So you get a little worried. But yeah, at the very least, that save will be respected. Big find their second. It looked like Tabson was going to be tempted to find a fight on the way out, but ops against it as the clock ticks down. So, big, good success. I think that whole round more or less comes off the back of a bit of an overextension towards Top Banana. I don't think those opening two fights needed to really be had. I think Lucky Frog maybe a little bit overconfident, a little bit too comfortable, and yeah, just get punished. And I think they'll probably learn from their lesson heading into round number 11. Early utility ringing out on both sides then. Oh, Maka with an attempt to pre-fire around the corner. Jocko tried to back him up, so to speak. Unfortunately, dies for his trouble. So, solid advantage now for Big. And another great spot for them to be in. Yeah, yeah. It's a quick aggression as well. It's always that top and arm position. You get a lot of good map control. Smoke going to come through. Maka still plays out in front of it, though. Doesn't really need to respect the coffin smoke, at least just yet. Still waiting for an opportunity. I like this one big. This is a very quiet call. I'm just going to leave that French side. So worried about rotation back to A. Little do they know. Still going towards B and Mac is going to be in trouble. I think the second they lose the site, they just call it. In comes the smoke and that's that. Unless Mac can get two crossing, there's just surely no chance. He's even backing away, isn't he? So, yeah, looks like they're going to give up the round, try and go for it in the last. Look, um, hitting eight is pretty damn solid, you know? Yeah, I, I'd yeah, say yeah. that's that's the equivalent of ten rounds at the very least. So they have potential to go a little further than that. And if they can get themselves a 9-3, like, come on now. Yes, it's like, oh, we've got less rounds or whatever, but you only need five rounds then to, to be winning the game. So that would be your equivalent of an 11-4? I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like working yeah. these things out. I know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And I think you'll just, give yourself, just give yourself a headache. But at the same time, the point still stands that it'd be a very dominant finish if they can get 9-3. Yeah. It's, it's curious, though. You just have to think, like, psychologically. Yes, there are a few less rounds and the gap can be closed a bit faster whatever um but you've only got you've, you've only got three rounds right maybe they get yeah. four and that still feels it's a bit tough you're gonna have to like it. oh no that's okay but it still doesn't feel great to only win less than a handful of rounds you know yes exactly no exactly that i think generally speaking we're kind of of the third kind of the same agreeance that it isn't good enough so far, this half. Yes. You know, generally speaking, uh, big have struggled. Uh, they've not put up the performance that we were probably hoping of them. And it is going to require a bit of a miraculous turnaround in towards the second half. But if they can at least close it out confidently, strongly, that would be a bit of a saving grace. If they allow looking for all to get out towards nine, I get very worried that it might be too little too late, especially considering how clean their pistols looked earlier. Basic process, nice and aggressive. Remember the flames. That will be heard. Oh, 
bits of damage on the edge of the smokes here. It's Maka through the wall to find Tabs in the first frag of the round. They bailed on B. They've sniffed out the fact that there are multiple members over there. They're going to try and isolate the A side of things. But man alive, this area in and around Pit and the balcony, it's so tough with this railing in the way. It really is difficult to sort of know where you're fully getting shot from, communicate that across. And it's like slanted, so, you know, the head's not in the most obvious spot. Really, really solid hold coming through from the boys. And really well played. And it's like, okay, we've got three on B. We know they might go for a quick response. Let's make sure we're set up for that. And they definitely did. All down to Crimbo. An ace clutch required. Unlikely. <laughs> it's probably yeah. as well. <laughs> Where to follow suit. This would be insane. But I'm not even really going to entertain that. Honestly, looking for really, really good. In the flames, he pushes through. That should have been her. But actually, Mac is going to fully rotate off the back of it. So it gives him a lot of this brackets to try don't know whether he steps will be in or not. I'm assuming by the fact that Maka did continue to run over towards B that the steps weren't heard. He's a bit of an interesting call, though. They've got the bomb down. They're opting kind of against holding it and can continue to kind of allow it to be picked up. Because it's time to I mean, really not going to do anything. So, how do you seize it off? 9-3 to three at the turn of the half. Brilliant work for looking for Org. Can they continue it after the break?
a swift first half, it has to be said. Looking for Org really bringing their A game into this one. Big, absolutely no chance. I don't know. It's difficult, isn't it? A, a, a deep run back going to be required at the very least. It all begins here, of course, with the pistol. Uh, but they are going to have to show us what they've been working on on Inferno. Looking for Org definitely proving that they have put some time into this map. Bit of magic needed it is absolutely safe to say. Double stack towards B. Looking like it's going to be tested in just a mere moment. Tabson, first state contact. Process and the Julies posted up on first orange. This is not going to be pretty unless they can hit some naughty shots. Made waiting. Tabson dropping it now. Could be huge. Bit of a dunker. Jocker takes a lot of damage, but Proch is just deleted. A little bit more damage being dished out on the edge of these smokes, but the bomb going down for the Frenchman. Looks relatively good. Retake is going to be difficult. Tabson's got a flash, but that's about all they have to work with. Would have been nice to have a kit or a smoke to sort of fend off a certain area. They're just playing this one super patient, aren't they? Lucky will peek out a little late, but it's all good. It's Hachi down below to find two headies. And it seems like it's all said and done. Mantu does not have enough time to get this defuse in. Fair play on the headshots, but the round itself is not going to be won. Maka takes him down, and that really is not a great sign for big. CT side losing the pistol, you know, everything is now going to start piling up pretty quick. And the thing is, there's also one of those things too now where... It goes back to, a, 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 you know, honestly, a pretty legit conversation that I've seen a lot of the kind of the, the, the top creators, influencers, whatever, being uh, talking about. But with the current economic state, losing both pistols, you're kind of doomed, right? Yeah. I mean, you just, just uh, to get back into a game losing both pistols in MR12 is so difficult, dude. They have gone for a force buy as well. If this falls flat... They, they, this, this game, this map's done, right? I, honestly, I don't even mind the force by here in the sense that Big have got nothing to lose now. They didn't go for the force by. They're actually giving, looking for Org an 11, which already feels like he's dead in the water. So why not try and turn the tide as early as possibly can? Triple stack towards B, getting peppered with Utah right now. Not exactly committed to just yet. In they come. 5 7 spamming away. Unable to find anything. I think, yeah, they are a little apprehensive. Not quite sending it just yet. Smart from looking for Org, right? You're against the pistols. Just just chill. There ain't no rush. Still, though, I think they're set on this beat bomb site, aren't they? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. This could be messy. tabson has got a molly. That splits them up. However, Jocko's still going to win his fight. That's kind of wild. 5-7 goes round. A little bit of team damage coming in allows Sin to find an easy frag. Three versus three. Only two directly on the bomb site itself. The bomb is starting to pull out. So, again, they're unsure of oh. to commit or not. Mantu with the deadly auto shotgun is going to find a frag. Quick find from Ecstasy. This is all over right now. What is this MP9 able to do? Sin playing the patient game. Trying to find them at range. Not going to happen. So, it's all down to Grimbo. Surely now there's going to be a conversation to expect a flank. Got to be in the cars in some way. Was that heard? Must have been. They're focusing attention there. And now they don't need to fight. Good reposition for Maka. Going to fall over towards that. Our second orange. There's extra seats to see it off nonetheless. A lot shakier than it maybe should have been. But overall seeing it off is important. Another buy to come through for big. At this point, nothing to lose at all. 11 to 3. Looking for so close to the finish line. Honestly, so deserved as well. They've just played brilliantly throughout this competition. Or throughout this uh, next map number one so far. There's just been no real kind of level playing field. Looking for forward to look rather better team. Tabson does get the opener. Oh, are they going to stick around to try and take a fight here? This could be a disastrous decision. We'll see. Tabson does indeed go a bit wide. Nearly goes down because of it. 
nothing quite coming. So, a man advantage for Big. Definitely what they needed. Well, goes a little bit quiet off the back of it, too. Again, nothing really being shown here early by looking for all off the back of losing that numbers advance. If you want to try and uh, wait for a mistake, wait for an overextension. Mac takes a little bit more damage to the flames. So the big, actually not a bad position to be in. Tabson is low, but generally speaking, he's tradable as well. Very true. Oh, the return flash, pretty good. Seems only able to get one though. There will be a trade back for Exorcist, but not before... The damage is done, right? They have a combined HP of 46, 35 seconds, etc., etc., etc. So I don't think this one's really going to happen. I'm going to try and force it, though. <laughs> and process just goes flying in. Nice pickup from Exorcist. Not a bad spray either. It will eventually fall as Big secure the round. Important, I think, for Big, considering as well that it was kind of a, another force by for them. And because they've been making the expensos, I was looking for now they're forced into an eco of their own. So, a bit of a taste of their own medicine. Generally speaking, a long old road to recovery. They decide to get back into it, but it's not exactly off the cards or uh, out of the question just yet. We're pretty miraculous. We'll see whether it's a possibility. Just glocks it. Nothing really to, to worry about. But we did say that at one point as well. In towards the first half, and uh, we're looking for one that round. So maybe I shouldn't speak too soon. Jocko and the boys I'm gonna burst out apartments. Flash comes round. It is ineffective, but Sin can't get his spray down. Ooh, and Crimbo also gonna fall. So. We have a bomb plant here. Surely we don't have a round. That would be absolutely mental. Yeah, okay, not going to happen. Even the bomb plant has been brought into question now. So a decent recovery from the rotators there. But looking for Og, they'll be happy to take a few guns away, you know? Yeah, honestly, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world at all. They, they, you take a couple of silver linings here and there. A few frags on a nothing round is not the end of the world. Again, now back in towards the full buy. One in which kind of needs to be converted. We need to see them now just uh, well, see it off if they can. The only problem is, of course, a couple of Galils or a few Galils brought in towards the investment here. So, already the dream situation. I hear them sing before, but how loud into round number 17? Big is starting to find form slowly. Sus, what a shot onto Lucky to crack this round open. There's a follow up attempt from Maka, but he also goes down. So, yeah, looking pretty good on big CT side, to be honest. This is nice. This is very nice indeed. Uh, I'm looking for Org once again, are in a similar spot as the previous round. Flames. And a little bit of damage there. Giacco would have been heard. Looking for Org now. Honestly, feel a little stuck. Where to? Back to all days of the decision. Three players there to meet them. Come around, spotted. Oh, man, two. Shooting a little early. Gives top mid control towards looking for Org, but still, from here, it's very difficult to get towards the site itself. Yeah, definitely not easy. I'm ticking. Oh, Haji, this is a big moment. Well, I think he might have just spotted the shadow there. Trying to wait for the right moment, though. And it never really comes. Nice pickups from Mantu on the backside. Keeping his cool, making sure that Big do indeed solidify that round. And again, get it without losing too many players. So a decent spot for them to be in. It's just so rough, isn't it, right? They, they have two rounds of breathing room. And that's not a lot of breathing room, so they really cannot drop the ball for quite some time. Yeah, got to be said as well, for looking for Ork, who were so confident, so clean in terms of their counter-strike they've been playing, up until the last few rounds, it looked like this was going to be an absolute massacre, right? They're going to see it off with, with such ease, but now they are giving big 
some room to work with. They're starting to close that gap ever so slightly. And while it may not affect the overall result of the map, there is the other side of things where it might give them some confidence then heading into towards their map pick. They would have wanted to try and limit as much as. Big nade stack. Tabs gets baited in there by the spamming of the Glock. I really like the way they wish they'd done that. Now flying in for fights. Looking good. Looking very good indeed. As the big boys will make sure, again, it's not a costly round. Starting to get a little dicey. Maybe once we get to nine or ten rounds for big, I would say, all right, looking for all. Maybe need to uh, panic a little. Actually, a timeout coming in from the CT side. I like this. I like this. Get ahead of it. They they know there's a buy coming their way, of course, so make sure that they're in a good headspace moving forwards, I would say. I agree. I think it's really just a, quite a heads-up decision as well in the sense that, all right, Let's just make sure we calm things down. We know we found some good form here. We know we're making a decent little run, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. So there's quite a treacherous run to even tie things up. Never mind. Push towards the lead hit. Four rounds leaded in a row from big. Granted, if they continue to find consistent success, two of them will be against an eco. If they would help things a little bit. So... Wait and see. Looking for all back into all supply. No warp. Macca to work with. It made things uh, ever so slightly tougher. Let's see. A lot of presence towards middle here from looking for org. Early smokes. Both sides actually using that long smoke to get out mid fast, so it is kind of cool to see, right? Inferno, one of the big maps I think that will be affected by the removal of skyboxes, to be honest. There was quite a lot in, in sort of random little places on Inferno. So, cool to see in a sense. Sin going to be tagged down pretty heavily. The aggression towards short here from the CT side could be absolutely massive. They are ready to go around this corner. Mansu, in he goes, able to find one. Surely got the support for the second. Where's it gone? Ah, they pulled off a little. So that's kind of awkward. Frimbo in the pit, though, will manage to find his frag. Sin gets his trade. Three versus two. Big R managing to hold the line here, looking good while doing so. As we said, quite a janky, uh, janky little fight being had here. Versus spotted out. Nearly, nearly cost me over towards Big, but Rosas and Tabson will see it off with relative ease. Overall, we now find ourselves once again in treacherous position here. I think there's a lot of question marks that have to be said over towards looking for They are letting this slip away from their grasp. Time I called. I honestly don't blame the decision really at all. Yeah, you got to change. Money's starting to get away from them, isn't it, really? I, I, do, I don't know, man. It's I'm just trying to think, like... the money, but... It's not exactly going to be pretty. Mm. I'd go half. But then they yeah. are French. Oh. And ah, French yeah, players the love a force through. buy. They love a force buy, man. They love a force, yeah. It's just yeah. in the DNA. It's just in the DNA. It's quite a risky force, though, because it really allows Big back into the game. Of course, it could kind of be the difference maker, too. Wait and see, but yeah, I think at the very least there's uh, you know, really good display from the big side. Jock over the first, however, decent, very, very good indeed. I mean, if you are going to go for a risky buy, do something with it, right? And that's exactly the type of mentality they've come into this round with. Or oh, utility's pretty good, try and keep them at bay, but Maka with a massive frag, leaving Sin desperate to do something and he can't do anything. Probably just a save from the remaining two big players, but you are perhaps conceding not just the round, but the game itself at this point. I think they know that they're hoping that an opportunity presents itself. It's just not going to happen. 
and looking for Org will hit 12 off the back of the timeout. There you go. So if you are perhaps a, a tier three or lower team watching, you don't quite get the idea of timeouts. I think that is testament to why they can be effective. Yeah, spot on. Yeah, absolutely spot on. Fair play. Oh, they're going for I don't find this, oh, especially because it's successful. Not exactly like big or kind of financially in any sort of problems, but causing any more financial problems is always a big plus. Yeah, take them all day. Yeah, so far, so good. Nice work. Finally, looking for all back to their winning ways. It's been a long time coming. Question, of course, can they make it consistent? Big. Now going to survive four in a row. And that's just to push us towards overtime. We said it was a big mountain to climb back in towards this game. And now it's going to be testament to whether they can pull it off. All right. They managed a bit of a comeback earlier on, didn't they? Mantu was part of that comeback. And maybe he's going to be a part of this one. At the very least, he looks to be part of this round. Shot down middle that is heard all over the map, I'm sure. Looking for Org. Also, a little shaky there. Money not great. And their uh, recent run of rounds, also not great. So we'll see. Hey, deep. Lucky damage on towards him and of course a Jocko falling too couple of question marks minutes of work with no real commitment of the bomb just yet I'm gonna have a little poke and prod in towards the apartment and see whether anything shows nothing quite yet but they'll they'll keep this attention up flash gonna come round Hadji unable to find anything just yet that's what they want, you know? Uh, an early frag would be nice. But Big are playing very, very disciplined, as you would expect from the German machine. But now comes the attack. The French round the corner. This could get a little difficult. Oh, that first peak is great. Tabson with an off angle. If he'd had an AK, might have picked up two, but that is not how it goes down. Sin is here quickly. Bullets... Pretty close to his head there. He's looking to get cheeky through the smoke. He's been heard and finished off. A lot fatter, those smokes now. So you really are heard quite early on. Three versus two to keep the game alive. Definitely not out of the question for Mantu and Krimbo. Bit of magic needed. How low HP. Excess and had GR. This is on the cars, but they've got to start making a decision here and now. Mantu finds one. Krimbo will step up as well. And it's caught upon Haji low HP. is planted for him. A tap on towards the bomb. And he doesn't fight. Doesn't nibble. With a stick in it, Mantu's going to find the defuse. And that'll be that. A ninth collected. Haji's going to stay alive. My oh my. This game continuing. Still some life left in it. They'll be kicking themselves there, man. That was a really good opportunity to close things out. And, and they didn't pull it off. Uh, yeah, really not great. Really not great at all. So, time will tell, but that might be one of the turning points of the game, to be honest with you. Big going to take a timeout. What do we expect? You know, what, what does their economy look like? Maybe a bit harder to track with the bomb plant and everything. It's going to be another buy for looking for Org. I can tell you that much for free. However, if they find success with it is another question, right? I think this gets quite scary now, actually. If they lose this one out, I don't know. I think they'd still have money to buy, to be fair. But it, it just would be a really great sign for Big that they have managed to find more and more success as we move into the latter stages of the map. I'd agree. I'd agree. Uh, right now, LFO, this inability to close the game is getting pretty damning. Oh, back into a buy, but I've seen so many of these. A little success. Early Utah being dropped in. We're going to go for a fight into towards top mid. Mantu. Find the first. Goes completely untraded. And the second for that matter too. 
Spacing from Lucky Frog is pretty rough, man. And they are continuing to be punished. Yeah, definitely an air of frustration around them, I will say. Antu with a nice pickup there. Oh, two fast ones returned. Two of them. Hampton. Oh, dangerous fight here. Gotta be careful. Both of them do, to be fair. Somehow nobody going down there. So still this three versus two, but a pretty tentative one, right? Could swing either way. Two versus two. Lucky low, but Tabson lower. Rotation back over towards that B side. And unfortunately, I guess how big it is Tabson there. Let's try and lock things down. Flick. Tabson falls. Smoke. Nice and deep, of course. Like with that spread. I need to work with it. Because I'm above it. All comes out to sin in the clutch. To save the game, man. Oh, this is not going to be easy, is it? The IGL has got to do it all. They're giving him the space. They're just playing super safe at the back end of the site. If he can find the right angle, maybe he's in the money. But I don't know that he will. Not a lot of time left either. Doesn't know where to look. And indeed, is coming straight into that crossfire. Finds them both, though. No. Oh, my goodness. There's no way. I don't believe it. I genuinely don't believe that that is possible. I thought they were in the perfect spot. And the way that he played that was directly into their hands. But that rounded pillar, he worked it. And he keeps big alive. My God. How were they allowed Sin to do that? Looking for all just caught asleep at the wheel. That is the perfect crossfire. You got one hold in the right hand side, the new box player, the new box player, all he has to do is hold for the swing. Neither are done effectively. Looking for Org. I've played that so poorly. And at least if you're gonna sit so, you know, so deep, at least have somebody holding for a swing. No. Well played from Sin. Really heads up from the youngster. Playing well above his years right now, of course. There's a reason why he's promoted to the main team. My god, is he playing well? You're super solid. Lucky. Gonna find the first Tabson to trade. Yeah, still not the best result for Big. It leaves things a little questionable over on B. Great flash around. Ah, the trade isn't there. So clean frag and a clean advantage for Big moving into the mid round here. What is the move gonna be from looking for Org? It seems like the A bomb site is where they want to end up. Man two. We got for us. Oh. Oh, waiting on this shot. Oh, they're going to double peek into him. Somehow still alive to pull off a shot on another. And he won't go down. He won't go down. Looking for Org. Ah, oh, dropping this map as big bring it within one. But my goodness, after that first half, I thought this was all but over. I've got to be sad. This is really, really rough to watch. What a... I guess a choke, right? I'm looking for all. The yeah. inability to close out this map is... It's dire. It really is. They are seriously, seriously looking so, so rough. And they're coming towards the final round of regulation. For my 10 double Galil. Going quick here. Might want to take fights as early as they possibly can. They get good control, but... What they can do with it is a different story altogether. This has been tough to watch. It has to be said, though. Only getting tougher, my friend. One last to be execute. So perhaps see it off. Look, he's going to burn pretty heavily. Nice Molotov there into the conventional smoke throwing spot. And they call off the B hit. So they are indeed really being kept at bay by big. And I think the, the mental game right now is being won by the Germans. 100%. What a recovery. Forty-five seconds or just shy off to work with here. And big have gone for a little bit more presence over towards the A site. Honestly, it's just a meta setup. And re smoking towards front and side of B. It's a commitment gonna be made back over towards A, in fact, which is called well because Mountie's rotating. It's decent, it's pretty smart. 
Oh yeah, this is really confusing the CT side for sure. Quick nadage over the top. Oh, in towards Pit as well. Sin has got a lot to deal with here. And I don't think he's really going to get it done. However, he and Crimbo chiming in nicely. Do well to get a kill a piece. Man 2 with a missed shot. Spot people under there. I'm not so sure. He's going to find a frag all the same. There's just no bloody time now to get the bomb down. The one yeah. thing that we all forgot about. And therefore, big win it and take us to the overtime. Unbelievable. What a weird game. But from that first half, you're thinking, surely 9-3 is not enough. Back-to-back 9-3 is put on the board here. But I think all the conversation, you know, we, we can talk about how well Big have done to get back in towards the game. And, you know, not taken away from them. They've absolutely done an incredible job to get back into the game. But there definitely has to be question marks about looking for Org. Five chances to close out the game. Fail all of them. Brutal. Brutal to watch. A confidence looking at a bit of an all-time low. On the T side, too. Never nice to see at all. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. Maybe the overtime will give looking for Org a, a new lease on life, but that really was not the second half that they were looking for. I think that is, uh, to say the least. Well, big with a hell of a performance and again, proving uh, CT side prowess. Always been a really solid CT side, particularly with uh, Mr. Tabson in play, but he's been a bit quieter this game, which is kind of a rarity. Mantu's been the man of the hour and he looks to continue that title. Hadji will find Tabson, but Lucky gets taken down, so it's all a bit sideways once again. Four versus four. 35 seconds to work. We're going to go back and look all day. come over. Grimbo. Does swing. Doesn't spawn him. I mean, a little bit perplexed as XSC then swings late. Oh, and a beautiful double entry on towards the A side. That should, in theory, be the round, but Big might give this retake a go. Mm, maybe. Mm, I think Mantu likes his AWP, though. Process can stick around. What are you doing here, really? You're just getting stats, I guess. Yeah, exactly. So, it's it's tough. You'd want to you'd wanna go for it, but Mantu, I think, maybe does have the right idea just to keep that AWP coming. Can be a little bit difficult um, if you keep losing rounds, I suppose. Yeah, process will keep out of the M4, man two, same for the AWP. No real call for a hunt here. They're appointing in, the, in OT. Not exactly needed. So, looking for Og, find that T side round that eluded them for five straight. This was regulation. But again, still doesn't mean job done. It's not them finding rounds, it's their inability to close the game. That is their biggest issue. Big back into a normal buy as expected, of course. And this time with uh, money left in reserve, we can give retakes a go, even though favor the clack coming through for Mantu. Brilliant entry. But how's he gonna find two of his own before he's traded out by the hands of Process? Solid. Solid look from Big. Great response as well, right? Making sure that they keep themselves in a pretty good run. Mm, not over quite yet, though. In towards the A-bomb side itself. The, the defense is a bit weak, right? You've got one out towards long, one out towards short. It's not really a sure fire thing. Sin, nice peek. Finds one. Leaving it just down to Macker, and I think they have a pretty good idea that he will also be alongside his teammate. Couldn't straighten up his crosshair in time. Sin takes him out as well, and evening things right back up. Lovely start there for Mansu. Little collapse to put it in place, and process finding that a very important trade, keeping the numbers in favor of big, simple, and effective. 13 all. This game still got a lot of life left in it. You know, really, really good showing so far. Over in some of the other matches too. Movistar Apex also gone towards overtime. 
Spirit beat the Chosen Few 39, map number one. Aurora beat Grinders 38, map number one. So the favorites winning so far. Two out of four games in towards the 0-2. Uncharacteristic quiet start into this one, to be honest. Just very light utility coming down. Flashes, Molotovs. Ooh, the Molotov not quite meeting the mark there. I think Process wants to get into the action, but uh, it would be unwise to do so, sir. I'm very ready for you. Smoke goes down. I'm looking for Orgar. Starting to gather ideas. Starting to look towards B, perhaps. Gum. Bros is playing aggro. I like this, but I really like oh. this. That flat is beautiful, and Prosus makes it three. Amazing. Absolutely amazing stuff. Great flash. Great control from him, especially on those first two kills. And that is the play of the round, isn't it? Absolute magic. Nice find from Maket. Sabson gets caught, but should be all good here. Sin going to go Ooh, overlooked. Fluffs his line slightly. We are getting closer to a crazy situation here. Nade of the smoke, though, from Mantu. He's been wanting to do that all game long, but it only nets him one. Mac is low, but it doesn't matter too much on the AWP, and it doesn't matter if Crimbo is coming from absolutely miles away. A well-placed Nade could finish this here and now, but I don't think it's quite going to happen. Maka creeping around. Flash goes in. It's pretty good. Oh, he can't make it around the corner in time. And particularly with that low HP, it's just not enough. So, Crimbo does get it done in the end. And it will be 14-13 at the turn of the half. All right. Slight advantage. Slight is that key word. I think if Big are able to take this map, that would be so big for them. They're going towards their pick next of Ancients. Which could be huge for them. Big, of course, went to three maps in that game prior. It was a, a little bit of a shaky display, generally speaking. Massive for them to take a map off their opponent and have that confidence going into their pick. Getting ever closer. So, Krieg back out. Oh, this has made this gun look very, very good. Something I might want to give a try myself at some point. And two in the AWP. Had a really good game. 29 kills to his name, but he can't make the 30th in this round. Oof. Oof, a risky jump across from Lucky there. Just gets out alive, but that was uh, a bit scary for a second. Yeah, there's certainly something about these Kriegs that Big seem to think is good. Well, as yet to uh, prove it on Inferno at the very least. Waiting. Our next fight's come through, of course. Numbers in favor. I'm looking for Org. Looking. Try and tie up the score here. It's quiet, 30 seconds. Time is of the essence. Big, got to make a decision sooner rather than later. This is going to be deadly, man. Are they ready for it or not? Flash coming round. Exorcist not left blind. Good for one. Haji in on the site, though, is the big man, of course. And now just trying to buy time, but Maka gets cut off. Two versus two, definitely doable. Nice bit of pre-fire from Sin. Not a lot of time to get the bomb down, but there's nobody around to stop them. So looking pretty comfortable here. Retake is definitely on, but they have no utility. Lucky is low, and they just really have to buy their time, wait for these smokes to go down, etc. The the usual sort of moves on Inferno. Great find from Tabson. Just missed the Jocko remaining, and Tabson will take him down to a quiet game, but certainly an impactful round. Not bad at all. Map point to big. What a recovery from them. 
Things were looking so dire at one point for this big side. They were getting battered and bruised on Inferno. And they found form out of nowhere. The deep Ram Smoke to come through from Exorcis. He's had a good game individually. So looking for Org side who are now reeling. Maka tries to take an early fight. But nothing offering up. Very slow wind up here. Big in prime position, baby. Oh, and Crimbo opens up proceedings. Yes, sir. That is filthy. Usually the closer, but you know, sometimes, sometimes you can do a bit of opening too, right? Either way, an advantage that looks great for me. Overall, the situation also is looking very good for them. Smoking towards front, that's out of sight. Rotation from looking for all back over towards B. If they head towards A, you can all make the argument maybe it being an over rotation. Because the bomb is kind of heading in that direction. Now I get very worried. That's been a wrap back. Jocko going to stay put. Lucky goes towards B, but that's an important fight. Exorcise. Down he falls. The big man are looking for drops. Dangerous, very dangerous indeed. Lucky gets a couple of them. But is it going to be enough? Oh, the Molotov burns him so heavily. I thought he could maybe get in behind it, but unfortunately not. So that will definitely make a difference now. Maka has to be the man of the hour. I just don't think it's really going to happen. Big R locked in, man. Another motor smoke coming round. Oh, and it's the touchdown <laughs> need to finish off Lucky. Thanks very much for playing. See you on Ancient. Maka soon to join him, perhaps. I think the timer definitely says so, right? They should just be able to play around that. Sin will find the final frag. 16-13 and an absolutely incredible comeback. Absolutely incredible comeback from Big there. It has to be said. That is, is just crazy to me. Um, let me try and find it here. What we were looking at. 12. Nine, three, half.